I'm Melissa Mancini with Canadian HR Reporter TV. I recently sat down with Norma McCormick to talk about the CSA's new standard for workplace ergonomics. There already was a workplace uh, ergonomics, uh, pardon me, an office ergonomics standard, and uh, we began to think about the fact that in general workplaces, more than half of the founded claims to workers' compensation boards across the country are for soft tissue injuries. So it became obvious to us that we had a gap. Uh, the other thing is that we have um, an OSH management system standard, a Z1000, which talks about risk assessment, and one of the risks in the workplace are those associated with work design. So it became another reason to want to have a more definition in terms of that aspect. What's contained in the new standard? Well, it's a, it is a management system standard based on the Plan, Do, Check, Act model. The um, standard outlines what we call an ergonomic process. It's a way of considering these work design factors, uh, not only from a physical perspective, but from the organization of work and cognitive requirements as well, the demands that are placed on our, our minds and our senses. So the standard then uh, sets out this process and sets out the four steps of planning, which involves staying legal to the requirements in a jurisdiction, uh, making sure that you have identified the hazards and risks that exist in the workplace, and then putting into place the prevention and protective measures, which in fact address and reduce the likelihood of injury and illness uh, in the workplace. So one other important um, message in the standard is the importance of making the um, interventions at the design stage. There's no point in designing a, a, a work process or activity that's going to harm people and then trying to figure out how to keep that from happening. So the earlier in the process that you can apply ergonomics, the more likely positive is the outcome. Why was it important to create this standard? Well, more than half of the claims across the workers' compensation systems in the country are for soft tissue injuries. So if companies want to do a really good job of reducing injuries and illness in the workplace, using an ergonomics intervention is a good place to start. 